Hi Vintage Computer fans, I've got my Southwest Technical Products 6800 here. Uh, we are running, you'll see the red light, the power indicator. Um, because it takes so long to load, I've already loaded BASIC. So you can see the last of the S19 file, I was echoing the type characters there so you could uh, see them. We've already gone through setup here, and you'll see I've got a basic program, haha, -ha, entered, and uh, we are all ready to RU in here. And uh, looky there, we are running an infinite loop, fantastic. All right, so that's just a basic, haha, -ha, demo. Uh, sorry about all these puns. I really should stop now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset here, get out of that loop. Uh, the one-fingered salute is to press the white button on the front um, in the days before Control-Alt-Delete. Now uh, we're back to the prompt here. Uh, I would like to show you a quick game. So we're going to transfer. This is exactly how I loaded BASIC, by the way. We're going to load Tic-Tac-Toe. Play a quick game of uh, Global Thermonuclear War in celebration of... Uh, the War Games Anniversary. Yay. So we're loading. You can't tell, but we actually are. Uh, real quick, let's go over here. Here is a bad 8K RAM card. We're just missing one chip over here, uh, unfortunately. I'll get that replaced sometime, though. Um, you'll see there are two 7805 voltage regulators. This thing takes up a whopping amount of current. I want to say one card takes up... Uh, maybe 500 milliamps or maybe it's up to a no maybe it's just 250 but anyway it is a lot especially compared to today's technology here's a MPLA parallel interface card with an RCA plug I don't know why the previous user or what the previous user was doing with this but uh, probably something cool and I wish I knew about here is a JPC products company um, high-speed cassette tape interface, uh, the uh, TC3 it is, I believe. I don't have any info on this, and uh, maybe someday I'll find it. Uh, this is a Southwest Technical Products MPR, which is the EEPROM programmer. And you'll see we have the socket there, uh, switching power supply there, and the uh, PIA chip which is shared by all three of these interface cards for the SS30 bus. Alright, let's uh, quickly get back over here. We'll see we have, uh, we're back to the prompt, dollar sign, and uh, let's, let's run our program. So we need to edit the go-to address here, if it's not already in there, which, oh, it is actually, 0100, same as basic. All right, and we're now ready to play a game. Here we are. Hello there. It's very polite, isn't it? Um, so uh, I can only hope to tie or lose, but that's time I tie. Uh, let's get this bottom row. I think... Uh, oh. Wait a second. Um, did I mean to do that? Yeah, I think I want to get three. And uh, I think I've won the game if I play there. Tie game. Well, not one, so tie. Uh, would you like to play again? No, thanks. I appreciate it, though. Oh, it's so polite. Look at that. Thanks. I really have enjoyed playing. Uh, so we could... Uh, restart the game by typing any character, but we don't want to do that right now. We just want to quickly exit. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a quick demo of what the Southwest Technical Products could do. Um, more of the fun side of things. Uh, I have heard uh, a couple of people back in the day um, were working on banking programs that they sold to some local banks in Alabama using the Southwest Technical Products uh, 6809. That was a little more capable of a machine with a disk operating system and everything. So, Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see if I can't make some more videos of uh, some more SWTPC action.
Thanks for watching.